Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, we have official word coming out of Iran. Iran has says that the ISIS leader, al-Baghdadi, is definitely dead. Okay, according to the Iranian officials, uh, they've confirmed the death of the elusive uh, leader of the ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, the militant group that has terrorized uh, Iraq and Syria and other countries of the world, have claimed credit and for a lot of the terrorist attacks, but have provided little details. Iran is giving us very little details of what's the basis of their claim. Uh, Ali Shirazi, a representative of the foreign branch of the Iranian elite Islamic Revolutionary Guard, known as Quads Force, said he was sure that al-Baghdadi was dead, but declined to elaborate on how and when this elusive uh, cleric had been killed. The claim comes weeks after Russia announced it believed it had killed al-Baghdadi during an airstrike last month at what is called a meeting of hundreds of ISIS militants and officials outside of the jihadist de facto capital of Raqqa in northern Syria. So uh, we're going to wait and see what's going on. We're going to see if we can get, wait for you a response by the United States, really. The United States has never confirmed or denied that Russia did kill al-Baghdadi. And uh, we don't have any for, uh, forensic proof of this, or at least it hasn't been released. But Iran is saying it's over. So let's see how this all plays out. But I'm going to give you this information that Iran is officially declaring the ISIS leader, al-Baghdadi, dead. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. Certainly what this means is this. If the Islamic world can declare Baghdadi dead, they can now move forward in choosing a new caliph. And who will that be? Will it come out of Turkey? Does it rise up among another radical Islamic group? Is there, is, do the Iranians choose one among their radical Shiites? What does this all mean? We'll be back with more in just a moment.